בעזרת השם נעשה ונצליח והשם עלינו ברחמה וירוויח. זה תורה תלס עם ספר דברים, פרשת עקב, צ'פטר 10 וס 19, זה תורה תלס like this, it's a like this, רבותיי, listen to it. ואהבתם את הגר, כי גרים הייתם במצרים. זה תורה תלס, that we have a positive command, to love the foreigners. Foreigners that the Torah refer to is a girl. Not only that, the Torah tells us what's the reason for it. Because you was a convert in Mitzrayim. Because we was a strange people in Mitzrayim. Okay. We understand now the positive command. But now I would like to go with you step by step. First of all, the roots of the word girl. Where does it come from? But the root, the root. Where is the root for the word Ger? From Gershon, the father of Moses. Oh, so Gershon. Gershon loved his name, so you want to say from Gershon. It's almost, but it's not. The root of the name Ger come from Yagur. Yagur is to love. God, okay. So the main explanation for it is that the Ger loving. What does it mean? The roots for it, because the gear <coughs> have to ship and to move from where he used to live to a different place, that's the source for the word gear. Everyone understand? If you didn't understand, please stop me. So, David, you look a bit... Yeah. You, did, you lost it. Okay. So, David, we'll, we'll explain again. The roots for the word gear come from yagur. Yagur in Hebrew, it's to live. What does it mean? That the Ger have to change his place to move to live in a different place. You understand what I'm saying? That's called a stranger. Okay. How many kind of Gerim we have? We have many, but I'm going to speak about two main Gerim that mainly they mean mentioned in the Torah. So we know the first Ger is Ger Toshav. Everyone know what is Ger Toshav? Yeah. No, so I'll explain. Ger Toshav is a goy, is a gentile, that decide to join the Jewish people. What does it mean, decide to join the Jewish people? Mm-hmm. He come to live with the Jewish people in Eretz Israel, And he took on himself the seven law of Noah. He must keep the seven law of Noah. Not only that, he has to do milah. What does it mean, milah? He has to do circumcision. And the most important thing, that he should not worship idols. That's me. That he believed that there is only one God. Okay? That's a ger toshav. Now, a ger toshav, Rabotai, cannot marry a Jewish person. Why? Because a ger toshav, it's only a ger to come to settle in Eretz Israel, to live amongst us. And that ger, can still eat non-kosher animal. Where do we learn that? We learn that from Sefer Dvarim. The Torah tells us in Sefer Dvarim, Parashat Re'e, chapter 14, verse 21. There the Torah commands us not to eat any non-kosher food. And I'll, I will say the verse and then I will translate it. The Torah tells us, Lo kol nevela, lager asher bisharecha titnena. That's mean. That you as a Jewish people, and we spoke in a previous Shaurim, why are we obligated to eat kosher food? Why is it so necessary for a Jewish person to eat only kosher? So here the Torah tells us that anything, that even a kosher animal that has v'shalom, that become taref, trefa, or nevela, we are not allowed to eat it. We are obligated to give it to who? To the ger asher bisharecha, which ger? Hazal explained ger toshav. That means that we see that number one we have ger toshav. The second ger that I'm going to speak tonight, and that's the main subject of the shaul, is ger tzedek. What does mean ger tzedek? And by the way, you know that we davening for them in the amida three times a day. Everyone looks stunned. I'll remind you. על הצדיקים ועל החסידים, you remember? ועל גרי הצדק, 
נכון? יש לנו גרי צדק. You agree with me, Anthony? I see that you are trying to memorize it. Okay, so we'll get to it. We'll get to it also. So we see that we have ger tzedek. What is a ger tzedek? Ger tzedek, it's a Gentile that decide to join the Jewish people, decide to come underneath the wings of the Holy Spirit, underneath the wings of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because he understand the truth. He realized. He suddenly realized that this is the right way. He took on himself now that he want to convert. But he doesn't have a personal motive. What does it mean, a personal motive? He didn't marry because money, because special issues. He decided to convert because he decided that that's the right way. He find that HaKadosh Baruch Hu given the Holy Torah to the Jewish people, and we'll get to it also. And that's what he decided to convert. So we're not going to go through the conversion, but we're going to explain. A ger tzedek obligates it for three things. One of the three things is not exist today, because we don't have Bet HaMikdash, but we'll reach it. Number one, the ger obligated to have a milah. What does it mean, a milah? A breath. To do a breath, circumcision. Not only that, he obligated to go to the mikvah. That's the difference to the other ger toshav that doesn't go to the mikvah. Can you see the difference? Why? Now, it, sorry? Why the difference from a mikvah to this? You can't marry a Jewish Jew. Nahon, he doesn't have to marry, but if you want to live among us, what does the Torah tell us? We call arel becha. That means we can be with false skin. But if you want to have a holiness, because all the tumma are sitting where? On a false skin. So if you want to live among us, take this tumma away. You follow? That's why we bury the tumma. So number one, you have to do Brit Milah. Number two, you have to go to the mikvah. The question becomes, what's happened with that person if he have already circumcision before he become a Jewish, because he, before he converted. So he had to draw a blood. They do drawing blood from him. Today, what they do today, they send him to a moil, a moil look at the bris, he check it up, he see that the bris that he done is properly. Once that he convert, they draw a little bit of blood. Follow? So from here we see that there is two different converts. Who asked question? David, yes, sorry. To draw blood, we have to, it's part. When you do a bris, we have to do three stage. The bris is not just chopping, sorry, cutting. The bris, you cut the full skin. There's a membrane that you have to open over the brit, the, the moil open, and then what they do today, they suck the blood through a glass tube. Why today did they draw blood through a glass tube? Okay, you have to draw the blood out. Hazal tell us, okay? Why? Ah, you're asking why? Ah, okay. <laughs> that, that first of all, it has to do that you're drawing the blood, that means that the first blood that come out to take the tumor out, okay? The impurity, follow, you take with that. And after that, that's, so that's the three stages. Remember, cutting the foreskin, open the membrane for a baby up on eight days or whenever he can have a breath. And the third one, that we're drawing blood. Drawing blood, it's very important. Now, so you ask why we don't do opening the membrane? Because when a person has <clears throat> already the breath, the membrane already disappears. Okay, it's old enough, nothing left from the membrane. So you can't open the membrane. You follow? What's a membrane? Membrane. You don't know, there is a krum on the brit. It's called pri'ah. Pori'im uto. Cutting it. Okay. Then, now we're going to reach to the main mitzvah, the main subject of the shi'ur. As we mentioned in the beginning of the shi'ur, in Sefer Dvarim, the Torah tells us in Parashat Ekev, chapter 10, verse 19, Ve'ahavtem et ha'ger. We have a mitzvah to love the ger. A 
positive command, Rabotai, to love the gerim. Why do we obligate to love a ger? Did you ask yourself? Just before, because we was in Egypt, we obligated <coughs> to love the ger? No. A neighbor. The neighbor, okay. So what, we love, uh, Tommy, do we obligated to love Hamas? Or the ISIS, they're also my neighbor. <laughs> they live all over, you know. If we love them, we're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> so, we have to love the girl because the girl actually has got a Jewish soul inside him. That's why he wants to become Jewish. We'll see, we'll see. So, Hazal explained, Hazal explained, like this. Hazal said that the main reason that we obligate to love Gerim, when a Ger decides to leave his nation, he has to leave his nation, he has to leave his family, he has to leave the place where he lives, he has to shift. It's a major change. It's not simple. Emotionally, it's not simple for a person to move on. Once that he decides to take that step on himself, we as the Jewish nation, obligated yeah. to look after him. Not only to look after him, we obligated to love him. And accept him. The Torah tells us, Ve'avta le'ra'acha kamocha. Nachon? Everyone know that famous verse. That means that we obligate to love every Jewish person. Now come another mitzvah that we have. If we obligate to love every Jewish person, we have another mitzvah. Mitzvah to love the girl. That means that we have two mitzvot. Every Jewish person has two mitzvot. Number one, to love other Jews. And when it's come to Gerim, we obligate to love them double. And we'll see why. And Hazal say that they have their own ethics until now that they was practicing. Suddenly they come, they see scholar person. We have our Torah. The Torah is not just one book or one script that there is no any translation. And if you ask question, they kick you out. You're not allowed to ask question. You know our friend Menachem Kruger? He told me that's the main reason that he decided that he's going to convert. He start to ask question. He have doubts. They say you can't ask question. He said, what do you mean I can't ask question? You must answer me. They say, you don't like it, leave. They kick them out. <laughs> so our Torah is so wide, so depth, so full of depth. We have to be very, 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 very sensitive that the new person that's coming and joining our religion suddenly, we have to be very sensitive to understand that where, where he come, it's a different background. We have to love them so much, to show them so much warmth that they will love our Torah. Not only that we obligated to love him, Rabotai, we have to look after him, and we'll see that now. And we'll reach now to the second part of the show, that has the shalom. What happened? You know what, before we get to it, I saw another pirush and I would like to share with you. You know, we have a mitzvah in a Torah, and we say it in Kirat Shema, Ve'avta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha. Nachon? We have a positive command to love the Almighty in all our heart. Nachon? I didn't want to share it. I was doubt if I shared it. But I see that you, you're very involved, so I will share it with you. Listen what that commentary say. The Torah tells us in Sefer Dvarim, chapter 10, verse 18. Here, it's referring to the Almighty. Ve'ohev ger, latet lo lechem v'simla. That means, Akadosh Baruch Hu loved the convert, loved the gerim. And if Akadosh Baruch Hu loved the ger, how much so we obligated? Not only that, if we obligated to love the Almighty, 
how much so that we have to listen to the Almighty. <laughs> that means if we love HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we have to listen to him. Nachon? <clears throat> Pashut. And if we listen to him, we have to love the Gerim. So from here we see how much we have to care for and to be sensitive towards the Gerim. And I'm going to get towards the end of the part of the show, just before the end. And here we're going to speak how much we have to be careful with the feeling of the gear. Not to upset Has Shalom, not to cause them pains or sorrow. The Torah tells us twice, the Torah mentioned twice how much we have to be careful with the gear. The first one come in Sefer Shemot, the Torah tells us first time, in chapter 22, verse 3, Veger lo tone ve lo tilhatseno. That means that you should not press the gear and don't cheat them. Not, when I say don't press, that means not embarrass them, don't cause them pain. And then the Torah come and tell us again in Sefer Vaikra, chapter 19, verse 33, Veger, ah, no, sorry, it's a different place. Vechi yagur itchager, lo tonu oto. When a stranger gonna live with you, when a convict gonna live with you, you're not allowed to cause them pain or sorrow or upset him. We know that we have a mitzvah not to upset any Jew. Lo tonu ish et amito. That means that we're not allowed to upset one each other. But the Torah come and tell us that the ger, twice it's mentioned, not to do it. And I saw that Hazal tell us in Gemara Masechet Baba Metzia, page nine, uh, 59, folio 2, Nun Tet Amud Bet, Hazal tell us that the person that has v'shalom, has v'shalom, cause harm or pain or sorrow to a convert, Number one, about I listen to it. Number one, he passed three mitzvot. That means he done three averot. Three averot, shalosh lavim, pashut. Number one, we say that you're not allowed to upset any Jew. The convert is a Jew now. So you upset him. Twice the Torah tell us not to upset him, not to cause him pain or sorrow. Three averot. But, but, we're going to move on. The Torah tells us in Sefer Dvarim, in Parashat Re'e, chapter 16, no, 15, no, 16, chapter 15, verse 11, and the Torah tells us like this, V'samachta behagecha. That's mean that when it's come to the festival, we obligate to rejoice. And it's like this, that you should rejoice in the front of the Almighty. You and your son. That means you and your son and your daughter and your servants. The servant maid, whoever is it. And then the Torah continues and she says like this. The Levite, and then it says, the Levite, Asher Bisharecha, the Hager, Hager is the convert, Hayatom, the orphan, the Almana, the widow. That's what the Torah tells us. Rashi Akadosh, on that verse, explained like this There is four that belong to Akadosh Baruch Hu. Four people Akadosh Baruch Hu very careful with. He wants you to look after them. It's the Levi. That means because he doesn't have any heritage, the Levite, the tribe of the Levite, you're obligated to look after them. The second one is Hager. The Ger, we all know. Convert. Yatom, orphan. Almana, widow. 
רש"י עושה, four of those belong to הקדוש ברוך הוא, you obligate to look after them. And רש"י עושה, if you look after this four, I will look after your four, הקדוש ברוך הוא עושה. That's mean, הקדוש ברוך הוא warning us. You look after my four, I look after your four. I look after you, I look after your kids, and I look after your family. As long as you look after my four, and who's amongst them? The girl. Now, there is has shalom when a person causes sorrow, or causes pain, or upset the girl. Hazal say, the, sorry, the commentary explained, amongst them the Hazal and the Mefarshim say that has shalom when we upset the girl, HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't have a patient. Usually, Orech Ruah, you have a lot of patient. But when it's come to those four, today that we don't have a Levi, so it's a girl, a Yatom Ve'almana, if you upset those three, HaKadosh Baruch Hu punish immediately. He doesn't wait. How much we have to be careful when it's come to Gerim, Rabotai. We have to be so careful to respect them, to honor them, and to support them wherever we can. Not only that, the main mitzvah that we say at the beginning of the show, to love them. Now we understand a bit how HaKadosh Baruch Hu look at the Ger Tzedek. Remember the beginning of the show we say, Allah Tzadikim, that we say in Tfilat Shmona Asre three times a day. What does it say in the end? How does the Brocha end? Mishan and Miftah to Tzadikim. Baruch Atah Hashem. Mishan and Miftah to Tzadikim. How do you translate it in English? Stay in trust with the righteous. So that's how you say it, because I look at the art scroll. I have the art scroll. So the art scroll say like this. Bless are you the Hashem. Bless are you the Almighty. Okay? The mainstay and the source of the righteousness. That means from here we see that where, where did we put the convert? Where is the convert? Where, on which level they are? Of the tzaddikim. You understand? A convert is on the same level of a tzaddik. How much we have to be careful. Now that we spoke about it, I bit scared you. Let's move to a better thing. Did you ask yourself why there is gerim? How come that there is gerim in the world? How come there is convert? Did you ask yourself this question? Why should be a gerim? So I'm going to explain that in a Kabbalistic way, that Hazal explaining, the mystical rabbi explaining, why we see Geri. We all know the Midrash, the famous Midrash, that when HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted to give the Torah to Bnei Israel, before he gave it to Bnei Israel, he gone to all the other nations. You know that famous Midrash. Yeah. And he asked every nation, would you like to accept my holy Torah? So the one nation asked, what is it written there? It said, lo tirzah. You should not murder. No, 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 no. That's not for us. Why? Because the blessing that we got, al hal On your sword I should live. It's not for us. He gone to other nation. What does it say there? Lo tignor. You should not steal. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is not for us. No, 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 no. Until he reached to Am Israel, the Midrash say, and Akadosh Baruch Hu, when he came to Am Israel, he asked how much. He asked Bnei Israel, would you like to receive my Torah? He asked how much. He said, Naase Venishma. First, Naase, we'll do, and then we'll listen. Maze Naase Venishma, we'll do whatever we say. First of all, whatever you tell us. And then we'll listen what it's written there. That's we know the famous Midrash. The mystical rabbi explained 
that amongst those nations that didn't want to receive the Torah were certain souls that wanted to receive the Torah. But because the majority of the nation didn't want it, they didn't receive the Torah. Therefore, they stay as a Gentile. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu knew that those souls wanted to get underneath the wings of the Almighty. What has he done? He allowed us to convert. And those souls that we see today converting Rabotai and converted in the past, those souls that they was amongst those nations that didn't want to receive the Torah. But they themselves wanted to receive the Torah. Not only that, the mystical rabbi explained that you see amongst the Jewish people, suddenly people love our religion completely. They become atheists. They don't believe. And they tell you, I don't believe in God. Has v'shalom. Hazal explained, sorry, the mystical rabbi explained that those souls that left the Jewish religion, they didn't want to receive the Torah. The same like a man's the multi-nation were souls that wanted to receive the Torah, but because their nation didn't want to receive, the same was in the Jewish people. And you see them coming out, out of our religion. The mystical rabbi says something, and with that I'm going to conclude, that towards the end of day, just before the Mashiach come, we'll see a major when I say major, major change in the world. You see people converting from all over. Why? Because that's the time that just before the Mashiach come, that all of those souls that wanted to get underneath the wings of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to get the Torah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when he sent the Mashiach, those Neshamot will receive the Torah. And those souls that didn't want to receive the Torah, going to be left behind. And that's what we see today. So Rabotai, when we see a convert today, I hope that we look at him in a different way. Besides just loving him, that the Torah tells us, Ve'avtem et ager, you're obligated to love him. How much we have to respect him, to honor them, and has shalom to cause pain or harm or sorrow to those people. When we speak to a convert, we have to be very, very careful how we speak to them. Because they come from a different background. And they're entering a nation that have the Torah. For them, is a major change. We have to respect them. We have to be very patient. We have to deal with them like we're dealing with fragile stuff. And by Ezrat Hashem, we should, we, we should all of us will see speedily the coming of the Mashiach and HaKadosh Baruch Hu will build Bet HaMikdash and will say enough to all the Tzoros that we have in the world. Amen. Amen.